Everybody out there, let you know right now, Amarillo, Texas, the police are corrupted. I lived in San Jacinto. I've lived in uh, Detroit, Winds. I've lived everywhere. The police are corrupted. They've charged me with walking, talking, spitting, fighting, cursing, yelling, hollering, screaming. They will approach you whenever you're walking and just say that there's a crime going on so they could touch on you and feel on you. A lot of them just ex-Marines. The motherfuckers ain't worth shit. They uh, have wives and uh, they have uh, husbands and, and they wear badges and they have these people who take their badges and say oh they protect and serve no they're not protecting and serving they're out here scheming on people there's only three dangerous people in this country that's child molesters murderers and killers everybody else all that nicks neck stuff you messing with people about you shouldn't be doing that but oh no they are corrupted uh i've been driving before i've been arrested they said i used a blinker when i did it's all on paperwork uh all over bogus stuff uh you go to motel rooms the cops show up there they're, they they uh drive through the parking lot at easy pond on 45th they're always looking for somebody um the people are just dirty uh i was i lived in san jacinto at 110 north prospect uh this corrupted ass apd officers i was sitting on my porch they drive by they knew i was on probation i had like one year left for something I didn't do, they said it was guilty by association. Someone robbed a store while I was in the car for $20, and they did it with their fist. So I almost was done with probation, and I'm sitting on the porch, and they pull up, and I'm like, what's going on? I, I And uh, they say, oh, you're under arrest for evading arrest. I'm just sitting on my porch. I never evaded arrest. So then I get an evaded arrest on my uh, record now so lawyers ain't gonna help you even if you pay them they don't help you so i got evading arrest i didn't run i got unused to a motor vehicle wasn't caught red-handedly doing that i do not do crimes my daddy raised me good i got uh aggravated robbery on a two told him that i never even robbed which i wouldn't rob a fucking store you ain't gonna get shit and then i worked at labor ready and some people were stealing carpet wire and then i got put in jail on that and uh i gave them rides and they got caught putting it in my car so i went down for theft for carpet wire never caught red hanley doing none of this stuff got five felonies 10 black guys jumped me in sj i'm indian irish dutch black and italian and i played basketball with them they all wrote statements i tried to run them over no i jumped in my car had blood gushing out my face the apd wouldn't call an ambulance when i called them to my house they put me in jail and all they need is an outside witness for a prosecutor to put you away the prosecutors are dirty they're dirty at Randall county there was one guy that worked there named robert yeah day bro uh i dated a prison guard named charlene kill back in 2004 and i was fucking her and then i told her i didn't want nothing to do with her um the corrupted police i sat there and texted her and i tell her leave me alone go fuck yourself we broke up five months later they pulled guns on me and uh beat me up and everything else you know and i go to jail for what harassment a class b misdemeanor i fight it they show the messages on the phone uh you text her, you told her, leave you alone. You told her, fuck herself. You talked about her sex organ. I get charged with this uh, charge and she wrote letters to kill me. And they told me I wrote the letters to myself when they came through the mail from her address. And Robert Yadebro was a prosecutor at the time, had a writing hand expert show up and say it was my handwriting just so he can convict me. So the prosecutors are dirty. Fucking James Farron is dirty. All these people putting you out there. And what I'm doing is a freedom of speech. I'm telling my story because, hey, this is what they've done to me. I'm traumatized. I live with this every day. 20 fucking five years of my life paying the police. Could never get off probation. Move away. They wouldn't let me leave. Fucking with me. I ride my bicycle from Waterburger. What you doing riding your bike at night? I got my clothes on. I mean, I, I, I got to fucking goddamn ride a bike. The cops out here playing these games every day. I'm here to let you know to all police departments, APD, your fucking games are lame. Everything you say is a fucking lie. Do not approach me unless you got a fucking warrant. Do not approach other people. People are tired you motherfuckers and y'all are corrupted as fuck leave people the fuck alone and if you want to kill somebody take your ass back to the fucking marines where the fuck you got discharged from because you pussy motherfuckers couldn't make it so yeah yeah and 90 percent of you cops know what i'm talking about and and they're corrupted and the motherfuckers stay out there at highland park in amarillo texas highland park by part of county jail and a lot of those people out there are prison guards and uh they be smoking weed. I lived out there on Kimberly. 
I come in my backyard, I hear them talking and laughing. Oh, that guy got 30 years. Ha ha ha. Knowing they crack their fucking asses. Ain't cut to do no fucking time like that. The police are corrupted. They are corrupted and I'm confronting them. My life is destroyed. I can't go to college. I can't be a locksmith because of my background. I'm going to fucking suffer for the rest of my life. And as long as I got to suffer, I'm going to put the police on blast. And when I say on blast, it means I'm going to tell on them like I just did. Deuces, y'all.